My back is already hurting, so we're off to a fun start. <laughs> um, I think it hurts because I was curling my hair, though I'm getting faster at it. It just, it's, it's still like time consuming. And like I said, it looks different, like sort of every time I do it, though I quite like how everything turned out today. So you might see a few videos with this makeup look so I can get some wear out of it because it looks pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do a This Just In today. This is my This Just In from September-ish. I have put some stuff away. I've talked about some stuff in certain videos. So um, I'm not going to pull out anything that I've already put away or like already talked about. If I remember that I bought it, um, while I'm talking about something else or like I received it or whatever, I will sort of like talk about it, maybe put a picture on the screen or something. But we're just gonna sort of do like a collective co collective catch up or just like a catch up in general, just like a catch up this just in. And then if, you know, cause when I asked you guys if you still wanted to see these, the majority of you or the ones who responded did say like, yeah, you like seeing these. So I figured I'll keep doing them. I'll try to keep up with them sort of more regularly, like maybe every month or two, depending on what comes in. Um, and I also wanted to talk about before I got into all that, sort of like what the rest of this month looks like and hopefully, you know, <laughs> going into the year. So I know that I really don't like have to explain any of this stuff to you, but like transparency is like a really big thing, you know, with me. Um, I've always been really transparent about like what goes on on my channel and like sponsorships and all that. And I guess I sort of manifested this in a way, cause like last year, um, I think I only was sponsored like a handful of times, maybe like three or four, and it was Skylar and Edible Beauty. Did Edible Beauty even sponsor me last year? I think they might've once. Um, but yeah, there wasn't like much sponsorship wise last year, you know, because of like everything going on and maybe brands just weren't, I don't know. But like at the end of last year, I just like made a decision. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start looking for more opportunities, like talking to brands that I already work with and that I already love. And hopefully, you know, like some stuff will happen for me next year, like sponsorship wise. Because, you know, a few of you guys have asked me about like Patreon over the years. And that's not something that I'm comfortable doing or ever will do. I have my reasons for why. <laughs> I just, I think that that's, I, okay, I know that a lot of you guys probably subscribe to certain people's Patreons. Like, you know, there's one person in the clean beauty space who does green beauty, clean beauty, whatever you want to call it, um, who does Patreon. And I, my, for me, I am not willing to put like my most interesting content on a different platform and then like make you pay to watch it, you know? I want my stuff, my content to always be free, um, you know, available to you guys. And yeah, I can't make as much money that way. I could probably make more money with Patreon depending on, you know, how many of you guys are supportive of that kind of thing. But I mean, to me, this isn't about just like making money. <laughs> this is about like sharing stuff with you guys and sharing, my cat is driving me crazy, sharing products with you guys and sharing just like my life with you guys. And I think like at this far in anyway, like trying to adjust my content like that, where I would put certain stuff, you know, you guys pay for certain stuff is free here or whatever. Um, I, I just don't think that, that would, I, it's just not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So the other ways to make money as a blogger are affiliate links, which you guys are aware of. I've talked to you guys about those quite a few times or sponsorships. And I said at the end of last year, I don't want to focus so heavily on, you know, asking you guys to like click my links. You know, I, I always feel kind of scummy when I do that. Like, even though I know you're going to make a purchase anyway, and I'm just going to make a little bit of money, you know, recommending the product to you guys. I, I, it's just like, I don't know if it's my personality or whatever, but I always feel just like a little bit scummy, even though it's not. It's not like a scummy thing. It's really, I think it's because there's been so much stigma on like bloggers making money over the years that I just kind of still feel it a little bit. It kind of feels a little bit taboo to like talk about it sometimes. So to me, I said to myself, I don't want to focus so heavily on that. So I want to look for other opportunities where I'm not dependent on you guys to make any kind of money. You know, so I, I guess I kind of manifested it a little bit because I said to myself, I'm not going to be so dependent on like link clicks and whatever. And I do want to look for more sponsorship opportunities. And especially with this thing going on with my cat, who is going to be, she's, she needs surgery this, this month, which is going to be quite expensive. 
Um, she's got tumors in her ears and they're causing her ear infections and the only way to sort of deal with it and to make the ear infection stop is to remove the tumors in her ears because they're blocking the ear canal. So, I mean, that's <laughs> upwards of a thousand dollars and I don't, I just don't always feel comfortable asking you guys to like buy stuff to take care of like the extra things that happen in my life. So if I work with brands either that I already work with or with new brands that I'm excited about, which is going to be what's happening a lot at the end of this month, um, and they're paying me, like I'm okay with that. <laughs> I would never bring you guys something that I wouldn't use myself or that I wouldn't recommend. Like I've turned down countless sponsorships over the years, but for some reason in January, probably again, because I manifested this, um, a lot of brands that have ingredients that I really like, brands that I'm excited about, brands that you probably have never even heard of, um, that I am like really excited about, they all, I mean like they all sort of contacted me at once. So the end of January is gonna be pretty sponsorship heavy and I did just want to alert you guys to that. And you know, I'm not, you don't, whenever I do a sponsorship, I'm not expecting anybody to buy anything ever. It's just good to have out there for like, if someone is ever looking for a, you know, review on this brand, or maybe it's something that you're looking at specifically, or maybe it's like you, you like new brands and you get excited about that. But like, I never expect anybody to like buy anything when I do a sponsorship, obviously the brands do. Um, but when I do sponsorships, the, the best way that you guys can help or when any, when any blogger does sponsorships, um, cause again, it's another sort of like taboo thing, like, Oh, the blogger's making money. Um, <laughs> the best way that you can support your favorite bloggers when they do sponsorships is engage with the video, watch the video, like the video, leave a comment, share if you find it really interesting. So I really would really, really appreciate it if, um, you guys just sort of like did that <laughs> this month. If you like engaged with my content the rest of this month, um, especially if it's like an, a, a sponsorship thing. So, um, starting the, starting it's not, it won't be this week. I think next week will be the start of when I have some stuff going on. So yeah, next week. And then the week after that, I will have at least two sponsored videos per week, possibly three. I'm still waiting on my Silk Naturals lipsticks. I was hoping to have that done last week, but um, she was delayed in sending them. So that's going to be a little bit late. Uh, I hope you guys are not minding that this is a very long intro, <laughs> but I wanted to talk about this. And there is gonna be some sponsored content on Instagram specifically too. So there'll be some here, there'll be some on Instagram. So um, I really would just appreciate it if you guys like engaged. That's all I am asking of you. So um, yeah, because I don't wanna be dependent on affiliate links, especially with this thing with my cat going on. I kind of need to make some extra money, but like, I don't want to, I just don't want, I don't want to like, I am also, you know, as a blogger, sometimes I do grapple with the consumerism thing. And some days I have like a harder time with it than others where I'm just like constantly talking about products or like promoting products or whatever. And like that, that, that's just like, it really gets to me sometimes. Like I know I probably shouldn't even be doing this if I haven't got those feelings, but I love, this is like my thing. This is what I love to do. Anyway, I know that this is probably, this is long enough and I don't want to, um, you know, make it any longer. I did just want to address that because I wanted you guys to know what's going on and I'm hoping that this continues into like February and the rest of the month and, you know, I'll be working with some new brands, some brands that you've probably heard of, some brands that I've talked about a little bit on my channel in the past. Um, I'm really excited about it all. I would not accept or take on these things if I wasn't excited about them and I didn't feel confident um, recommending them to you guys or just like having it on my channel at all. So um, yeah, I mean, you guys know me. You guys know, you guys know I wouldn't bring you just like crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, none of that will be in this just in. That'll all be saved for like all the sponsorship stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to make you guys aware of what was going on. And I would just greatly appreciate it if you guys engaged, that's all. Okay, so let's talk about some of the stuff that I've gotten since September of last year through like this weekend. I did get like one thing yesterday. Um, this was the thing I got yesterday, so I guess I'll talk about this first. So Kahina Giving Beauty just launched a new version of their Beldy soap and it's with argan oil. So I think the versions before were just saponified olive oil and this one is um, argan oil. And I don't actually think it has a scent. I'm pretty sure it's just saponified olive oil and saponified argan oil. Yeah, 
it's got like a little bit of a of a sort of like lighter green color because the one that they have now is like a deeper green color. So I'm pretty excited about that. I really love the Kahina Giving Beauty Beldy Soaps. Um, I do use them to shave. They, they work really well as like a shaving cream sort of, or like a shaving soap. I'll use this or I'll use um, just like a regular bar soap, which I've talked to you guys about before. I don't use like shaving creams or lotions or anything like that. I just kind of use like soap. It works. I never really cut myself unless I'm like trying to rush. <laughs> um, so here's another one that came in recently. This is the 57 Kind Naughty Innate Flow uh, Quell Balsam. So it's, if you guys watched my skincare favorites video or my current skincare routine, which I posted November-ish, can't really remember exactly when, I talked about Tianu from this brand. Um, and that was one of my favorite oil finds from last year. It works really great for my skin. So she released a new product, which is Naughty, which is the, um, you know, the bomb that she's got. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I just got that recently, so I haven't started testing it yet. <laughs> I got some hair in my mouth and yeah, I'm really excited about that. So when I've tested that for a pretty lengthy amount of time, I will talk to you guys about that and let you know what I think. I mean, like the color of it, it's like this deep green, which is, you don't see that. That's not a very common like coloring for a balm. It's just beautiful and it smells really amazing. I mean, it doesn't stain your skin like green or anything. So I just, I put a little bit on. Okay, and then Alima Pure did send me their new cream blushes, um, all six of them. Last year, or maybe it was the year before, I don't know, I feel like it's been quite a long time, but there was some time I placed an order and one of the gift with purchases was um, a cream blush and then nothing you heard nothing about you know the alima pure cream blushes for like until recently until they dropped them so <laughs> i didn't even know that they were still working on it i'm guessing it probably got delayed a little bit because of um you know all the covid pandemic stuff so they released six six shades and i've actually been wearing one quite a lot it's the one that i got as the free gift you know back way back when um i have a new one here that one the one that i've been wearing a ton is bijou which is sort of like that really beautiful like red color that i've been using a ton i love it um the formula is great it blends really nicely it stays all day this isn't it but um i really love i really love the formula so here's crush which is sort of like a purpley. This one is probably similar to the one that I'm wearing right now. This is Pulse. What I'm wearing right now is actually Cure Weiss in Above and Beyond. So here is the difference between the two. They probably will look similar on the skin. So I'll be trying this one soon to see if it looks similar to what I've got on here. And then I've got Blossom. Hope, which is sort of like a taupe, could be used as like a light bronzer color if that is a color that would work for you or like a contour. And then Wink. So, real excited about all those. So they do come um, with the compact and then you just pop them, you pop them in the compact. I just haven't done that yet. So that's something that I'm really excited about. Can't wait to play around with the other colors. I've already been playing with Bijou quite a lot. Okay, and then somehow in the last couple of months, I've I've gotten back on the, the Pacifica PR list. I don't know how that happened either. I didn't apply any or anything. So I was, I was on an old one, but then they, they didn't send anything for quite a long time. And I don't know, maybe they just picked back up or I don't know, but they sent me three things in the last couple of months. So they sent me the Lip Balm Trio, which does have a scrub in it and then two lip balms. They sent me the uh, Coconut Rehab, this. It's got like a face mask, a face wash, a lip balm, and a water rehab cream. And then this is the acne kit. They sent me the acne, like the acne warrior or that whatever their, their, their acne line. <laughs> so it's got the acne warrior clearing astringent the Acne Defense Face Wash, Pore Warrior Soft Scrub, and then the Acne Gel Spot Treatment, and then as well as the Pore Warrior Booster Serum. So I actually think I do wanna try those once I've done 
um, like the sponsorship stuff that I've got going on to see if they work for, you know, someone who's got my kind of skin. And you know, Pacifica is pretty accessible. I think you can get them at Whole Foods and like Nature's Grocers. You can get them at Target. Does Walmart carry them? I'm not sure. I haven't been in a Walmart in a really long time. Um, you, where else can you get them? You can get them in a lot of Ulta. You can get them at Ulta. So they're pretty accessible. And I want, I've always, sometimes I wonder about their skincare, but then like I never try it, but maybe I will. I'll try that. I'll try that stuff. All right. So I did pick up some various facial, like face tool, face thing. Um, Cause I do want to do like a lot of challenges this year, like, you know, for my skin. <laughs> Um, I watched, I actually had this idea before I watched Marie's video and I think Marie is going to be doing something pretty similar where she's going to be using like a different tool or a different treatment every month and like doing it for 30 days and seeing, you know, what kind of results she gets from her skin. And I did have the same idea to do that and I've picked up quite a few things to do that with. Um, I'm probably going to start in February since January is already, we're almost midway through. <laughs> um, I, this was almost sort of like a random impulse purchase. I've always kind of wanted to try one of these, these like LED face masks. Is it actually going to do anything? I don't know, but it's, yeah, it's this three color LED mask. You put the whole thing over your face. Again, do things like this actually work? I mean, we're going to find out together. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> And it does do three different colors. So it's red, blue, yellow, and it's got like varying. So like each color is supposed to do something a little bit different. Whoa, let's not break it. <laughs> so, um, so what are, what are the colors supposed to do? So the red is supposed to facilitate blood circulation, accelerate metabolism, generate collagen, and is helpful to the wrinkle care and improvement of the skin. Blue light removes uh, bacterium acne and is helpful to the acne care that improves the environment in the hair follicle. And then orange um, improves the function of oxygen within the cells, accelerates the blood circulation by fading the pigments and helpful to soften the skin. So I would probably try the blue for 30 days and then try the orange for 30 days because those seem like the ones that, you know, my skin, I would actually see sort of like a difference in. So I did buy that because I thought it was kind of fun. And then sort of like on the same, um, the same vein as that where it's like a, a light treatment. I did also see quite a few ads for this and like I get, I get, um, I get suckered by ads quite often. I mean, I guess that's their whole purpose, right? <laughs> um, but this is the Sola Wave, which is another one of those, it's like a wand. So it's got red light therapy, microcurrents, vibration, warming. It's got a rotating head and then like a touch sensor. So let me try to tell you a little bit about what the heck this thing is supposed to do. So here's what the thing looks like and then it does. So you can use it like this and then it, it does rotate as well. So you can use it like this. So you want to use it on uh, clean, dry skin. Uh, you can use it with an oil. They did, or like a serum. You, they did uh, offer to offer it with a serum, but I chose. I like I have enough stuff. I can use some. I could find something to use it with um, that I've got. So the microcurrents are a form of electrical stimulation which can penetrate deep into the subcutaneous tissue and facial mutual, facial muscles. The warming surface can temporarily relieve eye fatigue and promote blood circulation. It can assist with deeper delivery of serums, creams, oils, and lotions. And then there's red light therapy. It can reduce the appearance of acne marks and wrinkles. Um, vibration massage uh, can massage facial muscles and assist in the absorption of topical skincare and beauty products. So and like it's touch, it's like always on. And so it turns on by touch. And so then like when it's on your skin, it turns on like, obviously I don't want to drag it across my face now because I have makeup on, but yeah, I want to use this for 30 days and see if that makes any kind of difference in my skin. I probably will do like the mask first or I don't know. You guys can tell me, would you rather see the led mask or this first? And then I'll, I'll pick one for February. So, and then also totally influenced by Marie because I did watch her video and then I placed an order as she was still talking. <laughs> she was talking about the Lanshin, um, gua sha tool and i i mean i have like eight million gua sha tools i do have a lot but this one was like so beautiful and i was intrigued so this is what this looks like because i do want to do gua sha for 30 days to see 
you know, the results. I, I, like, I wanna do a lot of 30 day challenges this year. And then I also picked up this one at the same time. I think this one is for under the eyes, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, so maybe we'll do another 30 days with this one as well. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I did buy those. Uh, they come in these like really nice little baggies. The shipping was really fast on those. Cause I think I watched Marie's video last week and they came like this week already. So I do have some devices and tools and things because I do wanna do some like 30 day challenges this year. That'll be fun to sort of if we can see you know, like skin improvement, skin difference. Skylar's newest perfume came in the mail this week and it's Green Goddess. It's the really pretty packaging on this one this month too. So this is bright, energetic, and fresh with scent notes of green leaf shiso, ivy greens, and water lily. Ooh, that's really pretty. I actually hadn't tried that yet. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? Did anybody ever wear like that grass perfume from Gap from like the 90s? I was obsessed with the grass perfume. Who remembers that? I, I need someone to tell me if they remember that. <laughs> um, but th they had like this perfume that literally smelled like grass and I loved it. Um, I wore it all the time, like I finished the bottle of it. This reminds me of that. It's like a more sophisticated version of like grass. It's got a little bit of like floral in there too. Oh my gosh, I really like this one. Oh my gosh, that's like nostalgic for me. Oh, so yeah, that's the scent of this month. If you really liked the grass from Gap from like the 90s, if anybody remembers that, you probably would like that because that smells really good. All right, so then a couple of other things that we can fly through really quickly because um, I have a lot here. I don't know how much I'll talk about, but uh, Kaya Natural sent me their sleep. It's like their sleep kit. It came with the sleep detox hot bath and then the sleep tea, which is calming hibiscus loose leaf herbal tea. So they sent me that and then they also sent me their Takasume, Takasumi detox overnight dry shampoo in brunette, which I have tried before, but I haven't tried it recently. So I don't really remember it that much. Derma E sent me a couple of packages. Um, they sent me their microderm abrasion scrub their overnight peel and their radiance toner. They did send me a couple of other things that I've already passed on to like my mom and stuff, um, but I just kept the things that I felt the most interested in and that I actually wanted to try. And then this one came in the mail recently. This is their Brighten and Go kit. Woo, I held that really awkwardly. So it says, see brighter skin for the holidays. So I don't know if this was supposed to come out before um, cause it says it's TSA approved sizes. So I don't know if they, like their plan was for this to be something that you could like take with you while you travel for the holidays or something, but I didn't travel. Plus the holidays are over, <laughs> but it came with three different things. It's got the vitamin C daily brightening cleanser. Yeah. Um, it also came with the vitamin C concentrated serum and then the vitamin C intense night cream, which you can't really see that at all. So those are a couple of things that I was also really excited about uh, from Derma E. They've sent me some of their vitamin C stuff over the years and I've meant to try a lot of it, but you know, now I have a lot of stuff going on. So I hope to get to this at some point, like some of this, this Derma E stuff, like this radiance toner, Cause again, like I want to, I, I do want to be trying like more affordable stuff um, and not just like super high end stuff, but some of the stuff that I will be um, doing like sponsorships for in the next couple of weeks are actually really affordable. So I'm, I'm really excited about those as well because not only are they ingredients that I really like and um, you know, products that I like as well, um, they're also really affordable, which is, I, I also look for that as, I look for that a lot too. So like if someone sends me something and it's like, some ridiculously overpriced line like that I know <clears throat> most people aren't looking for right now, especially. I'm mostly looking for, um, you know, like affordable, affordable stuff at the moment. Okay, so a few Fit Glow things that I don't think I mentioned specifically. Um, they did send me their sort of like lip kit, which came with the lip scrubbing mask, a night lip serum, and then the lip color serum and nudie. I don't know if that's still available, but I think you can get the lip mask on its own. Well, maybe I did mention the lip mask in another video. I can't remember anymore. They also sent me their new mask knee oxygen mist, which I have feelings about. I mean, not so much the product, but it's like the name of it. I guess I just don't really like the mask, the mask 
from like what what advertising of it I don't know I just I you guys know how I feel about masks <laughs> and uh, someone's gonna feel some kind of way about that but again remember I don't leave my house so let's <laughs> leave it alone so it's this one has got oxygen which is supposed to clear cleanse and improve clarity and condition Moringa extract, which reduces sebum production and rebalances skin. Uh, green carrot stem cells, which reduce stress, soothe skin, and minimize the look of redness. And then it's got hypochlorous acid. So I guess it's sort of kind of like a boosted version of like the Tower 28 spray, because that one is hypochlorous acid in water, and then that also has like sodium, oh, sodium chloride. So this is, this is like a boosted version of the Tower 28 spray, because it's got those three things in it, but then it's also got you know, the Moringa, it's got oxygen, it's got the carrot stem cells. So, I mean, okay. I'm about out of my bi Bryotech spray, so maybe I'll throw this in when the Bryotech spray runs out, because I know a few of you guys have asked me about that, um, and I just haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but looking at the ingredients now. I, well, I think it's probably a really great product, I just don't like the promotional mask -nee. I just have feelings about that. I mean, take that as you will. And then they also did send me backups of two of my favorite products, the Cloud Collagen Oil and the Vita Active Serum. Love those. So then Moon was re-releasing, -re Moon was re-releasing their Perfect, per Protect and Revive Moisturizer. And then um, at the same time, they sent me some stuff that I, you know, didn't have <laughs> from the line. So I haven't, played around with this one yet, but I can tell already it's a little bit different. It's much more of like a creamy, it's a creamier consistency where the last one, it kind of was like, it was almost a little bit more of like a gel. Oh, it smells really good. It feels really nice on the skin too. It feels a much more hydrating than I remember the other version being. It's been a while since I've used it, but I'm pretty excited about this. It's got lots of amazing stuff in it. It's like aloe, prickly pear, watermelon, black cumin, hyaluronic acid, licorice, quandong, desert lime, wattle seed, uh, coconut fruit extract, neroli. Pretty excited about that. So at some point in the coming months, I will be doing a re-review of Moon because it has been a while since I've talked about them. Um, so then they did send me the Aknari, the Brightening Youth Serum, which is one of my favorites. I've used a bottle of that before. One of the first things I bought in the green beauty space. Anna Rose and Aqui. So the only one that they didn't have um, was the Body Serum, which I forget. I forget what that one was called. Okay, so then Mia Coda did a collab with Wabi Sabi Botanicals. Uh, Mia Coda makes uh, organic clothing, headbands, ethical stuff. And you guys know that I love her headbands. So of course, when I saw that she released this, you know I had to get it. And it looks exactly like the, the stone. So the, I guess the inspiration was the Dalmatian, Dalmatian Quartz Crystal Facial Gua Sha. So she, she did do a set um, of the headband, a scrunchie, and then the gua sha. So, so you can sort of see, like it looks identical. Isn't that amazing? I mean, this one's a little bit darker of a color, but I'm pretty excited about this too. So like, this is another one that I'll probably do like a 30 day challenge with, cause this one has sort of like this like comb edge on it. It's a little bit of a different, of a different, um, a little bit of a different shape than some of the other ones that I have. I mean, will one gua sha stone from another make that much difference in your skin? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I might leave this on my wrist the rest of the, uh, <laughs> the rest of the video. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what else I want to talk to you guys about. Cause there's some stuff in there that you can't even like buy anymore. Like I bought some of the Laurel hydrosols when they were released and you can't get those anymore. Um, there's stuff that I've already like talked about, or there's a product in there that's like not even been released yet. So I don't think I could talk about that. Um, there's some stuff that I've also mentioned, like the Skylar candles, the Skylar vanilla sky perfume. I'll link that video down below if you haven't watched it. Um, the Leilani mini kits, um, the ones that like the mask trio and then the cleanser mask and bless bomb. I talked about those right before I talked about it was some, somewhere around Black Friday because that's when they were released. 
There is the Fit Glow cleansing, not cleansing, the Fit Glow um, lotions, like the creams. I have been using the Cloud Comfort one and I really like it. I haven't uh, opened the Bakuchiol one yet, so I don't know the difference in like scent or texture or anything like that, um, but I do really like the Cloud Comfort one. I recommend that one. Bathorium sent me a package when they heard in my last empties video, not the one that I just posted, but the one before that, that I used up all my bubble bath on Oliver. <laughs> so they somehow, they saw that video and then they sent me a little care package with some like more soap and uh, bubble bath for Oliver specifically. Um, so I can link some of that below. And then Earthwise Beauty sent me a couple of refills. So I thought I'd just talk about like really, like really show you the stuff that is like newer that I haven't, just so this isn't like an hour long, but it still might be. Okay, so Ashlyn Quinn released two new products recently. One that I have tried and I really love. The other one I haven't gotten around to trying yet. So it's the Melanie uh, Snow Leopard Melon Frothy Balancing Cleanser. I talked about this one in my 2020 uh, skincare favorites. This is beautiful. It smells like divine. I love the smell of this. It's like lime, but it's like, I don't know, it smells much more sophisticated than just lime. It doesn't smell like lime juice. It, just, it smells like so much more than that. It's really amazing on the skin. It doesn't strip. It's really like cushiony, but also cleansing without being like harsh. Um, I, if you're looking for like a new gel cleanser, I highly recommend that one because it's beautiful. And then they, she also sent the Mimosa Acne Clarifying Treatment Serum. So this one is um, ultra light, multi-targeted uh, solution for oily, congested, or blemish-prone skin. This innovative treatment features a powerhouse synthesis of clarifying botanicals and proven actives that work together to control sebum production, calm inflammation, decl declutter, and minimize pores. I've never heard pores uh, to be like talk like that, <laughs> talked about like that. Prevent scarring and destroy bacteria responsible for causing acne. So this one I haven't tried. She didn't send me this one originally. It doesn't really have too much of a smell. There's like bitter orange, lemon, sage. There's a, maybe a little bit of sage. So yeah, I'm excited to test that out over the coming months um, and seeing seeing how I feel about it. And then Edible Beauty sent me their two new releases, the Beauty Reset Drops, which is their Bakuchiol Retinol Alternative, and then the Green Goddess Lip Oil. Those as well. So like this one is kind of a cool product because it's meant to only be used like in the short term. So it's a pretty small, um, it's a pretty small bottle. It's not like the standard, it's half an ounce. It's not like a standard, uh, facial oil size. So you massage three to four drops across your face and decollete after serum and before face oil or lotion application and then best used for three weeks as a skin treatment when your skin is needing a reset. So I think that's kind of a cool concept. Um, again, that can be like another sort of like 30 day treatment video that I do um, once I've gotten through like the skincare sponsorships that I've got for the rest of this month. And then I did order a couple of things from Save, or yeah, I ordered a couple of things from Save Beauty. One that I'm actually wearing and didn't bring in here, it's their slip cover tinted moisturizer. I got it to work for me today. Um, the last time I used it, I think my skin was like freaking out too much. Like it wasn't, my skin's looking really good. So I can use products that have a little bit less coverage and you know, don't need, they're not so like fickle but I got it to work for me today, but it is very glowy. So I do set it. Um, and then I put some like more glowy things on top of it. <laughs> so my skin just still looks like really glowy. And then I heard they reformulated their brow butter. I didn't buy this originally because I heard it was like super oily and just like rubbed off. So when I heard that they re formulated it, I did, I did go ahead and pick that up. So it's like the super tiny wand. I haven't tried this one yet and I have it in the shade medium brown. So, um, say beauty review coming sometime, sometime this year that will happen. Um, I bought the Ilia powdered eye tints, which you guys already know about. I just have the packages sitting here for whatever reason. Vapor sent me a couple of things, which I guess I've already put most of them away or all of them away. Um, I have the package for the brow definer. They sent me the brow definer, their clear lip, lip gloss and um, they're mattifying primer. I think I'll be doing a vapor like makeup review at some point. 
Oh, what else do I have in here that is worth talking about that I haven't talked about yet? Um, okay, so that's probably it. I did receive the All Natural colored mascaras, but I, I think some of them are actually on clearance already, so I don't know how much longer they're going to be available for. I'll link below the colored mascaras if you're interested. They're kind of fun. Okay, and then I do have a few of these sitting here. I wanted to make sure that you check them out before they are gone for the year in case you're interested. The Olivia Cranberry Body Cleanses. I did talk about this in my body favorites, but um, I saw that they're still available, so I did want to make sure that you knew about that in case you're interested. This is my favorite scent. I did buy three of these <laughs> to get me through until next year. <sighs> The scent just so amazing. I love the Olivia body cleanses. It's my favorite body cleanse type of formula. Um, and then Prisma palette, was it around Black Friday or after Black Friday or before Black Friday? I can't remember. Prisma palette released some new shadow shades. So I did buy quite a few of them. And then I bought a new um, like Z palette type thing to put them in. So these are fun colors. I'm really excited about this color actually especially for the spring. I'm excited about some like more bright greens and stuff for spring. This one also looks really pretty effortless. It's got like a nice duochrome on it. So that's kind of fun. So then the last thing that's probably that I've got that's worth talking about that you might have any interest in is I did order from the In Beauty Project. Um, I ordered their Electrify Lightning Bolt Eye Masks, which are kind of fun. So they give you the look of bright, hydrated, and energy, energized eyes, and then they take away dark circles and puffiness. I've only used one so far, but I did really enjoy it. And it's just kind of fun to try something a little bit different. Looks a little bit different than like your standard uh, Honest Hazel Eye Gels or the 100% Pure Bright Eyes ones that are like a green. And then I have ordered over the last few months all of their lip glazes. So I did try one originally, and I've talked about this on my channel before already. Um, I, I ordered their extra glaze, which is like their, the one that's just like a clear with a little bit of shimmer. It looks really pretty on the lips. I ordered this and I tried it and I really, really loved the formula. So then I wanted to try all the other ones. So I do have one, two, and three here. That's, I think that's what they're called. It's just, they're, they're numbered. So number one is candy apple scented. And so this one is just like a red and it really does. It smells like candy apple. Oh. So that is just like a sheer, a sheer red. So number two smells like berry jam. And this one is like a, like a berry color. You would imagine from the, the, um, the scent of it. So that one is just like a sheer, just a sheer berry color. And then the last one is scented like Frosé, which I'm guessing is some kind of alcoholic drink that I've never tried. So this one is just like a frosty pink, frosty pink color, which is almost, like undetectable. So those are those. I love these. These, the, ooh, that one smells really good. <laughs> um, probably scent wise, my favorite two are the Frosé and the Extra Glaze because this one smells like, like a glazed donut. I'm gonna smell it again. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm giving up sugar again. So like naturally I want to eat it all. So yeah, if you haven't checked out those, they do have those Acredo. Um, I really like the formula of these. They're really nourishing and I really like the colors and the scents of them. So I think in terms of what I've got that's sitting here that is going to be of any interest to anybody, I think that's probably it. I know it's a lot, but it's also, remember, it's from September to now. <laughs> a lot of this stuff has been sitting here um, because I've had like other stuff going on and I haven't been able to get to a lot of this just yet. I touched the, um, I touched, look at how glazy, look at that. Ooh, look at how glazy they are. I'm wearing um, the Cure Weiss lip gloss, but I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of this formula. It's like, I'm, I've only been talking for like 50 minutes and it's already like completely worn off. Disappointing. 
Um, but yeah, that's another thing that I'll be doing this year is my Kier Weiss review. I know, what did I order those back in September and I still haven't done that yet. Um, but some stuff I like, some stuff I don't, but you'll hear about that. You'll hear about that soonish, soonish, once we get through the end of January. But that's it for this video. You will hopefully see some other exciting videos that I've been promising <laughs> um, the end of this week before we get into all of the sponsored stuff, but we'll see. Um, Cause if the Silk Naturals lipsticks come in the mail on Monday, which I think they might be, I might have that up Wednesday. Um, my second set of Silk Naturals lipstick swatches. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If there's anything that you're interested in seeing sooner than later, let me know and I will definitely add it to the calendar somewhere and figure out a way to make it work. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited about all this stuff actually. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here, but I'm excited about it all. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, if you want to continue seeing the This Just Ends, just leave a like and I will continue to do them as stuff comes in. But I'm really excited about the rest of this month. I'm really excited about what this year has to bring. Hopefully, hopefully some good things. Hopefully, I don't know, because I've kind of been feeling like my channel's just like dying. <laughs> Um, for a long time I felt that way and um, I, I just like I needed like a reinvigoration or like I need some an extra boost of inspiration or motivation something I just need something I don't know but I hope that you guys had fun I hope that you guys liked spending the last hour with me thank you guys for being here and I will see you in my next one